Hi there, I'm Officer Moore with the Loveland Police. I'm a school resource officer at Loveland High School. At Loveland City Schools, we take our safety seriously. We have many procedures in place to help with our safety. One of those is the ALICE program. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the ALICE program. We want our students and staff to be prepared for everything, including if an unsafe person was to enter our school and cause a VCI. I'll talk later about VCI and what that means. Administrators, students, and teachers will empower and use the principles and the tactics taught in the ALICE training and present the information in a non-fearful, empowering way. We will take into account a student's developmental readiness to ensure that the students feel safe and have opportunities to ask about their feelings and their reactions and to talk about them. We're not here to, to make you nervous or scared or upset, but this is part of what we have to go through nowadays, whether we're in school or out of school. What is ALICE? ALICE is an options-based response which can increase the chances of survivability when faced with an active intruder situation or VCI. The program relies on the premise of providing information, authorizing decision-making, and participating in proactive training. VCI is Violent Critical Incident. The Alice Training Institute defines VCI as any event at any location where a person or persons attempts to harm innocent people by any means, regardless of motivation. Okay, we're gonna go through the Alice acronym. First is gonna be the A for alert. It's your first notification of danger. It's recognizing the signs of danger and receiving the information about the danger from others. The next one is going to be lockdown. Lockdown, if evacuation is not an option, you're going to barricade entry points. You're going to prepare to evacuate or counter if needed. You're going to inform, communicate real-time information on the shooter location. You're going to use clear and direct language using a communication means possible. And then we're going to counter, that's the C. As a last resort, you're going to create noise, movement, and distance and distraction to reduce the shooter's ability to shoot accurately. The last is the E, it's going to be evacuate. When safe to do so, you're going to run from danger. You'll use non-traditional exits if necessary. Rally points should be predetermined. No particular sequence for, exists for these concepts. They vary from situation to situation. Okay, we're going to talk about the A. The A stands for alert. All are authorized to announce. No codes are used. Shift from using generic call for a lockdown to more specific information. From lockdown, we're going to be specific. We're going to say an example is a white male entered the commons with a handgun heading towards the art wing. He's wearing a gray hoodie and tan cargo pants. Awareness of gunshot sounds. Most people when hearing a gunshot sound do not think of it as a gunshot. Most will process and rationalize as construction noise, the band, a science experiment, firecrackers, drop books, etc. The intercom PA system in the high school is pretty simple to use any phone in any office or any classroom. You can pick it up and dial 5421 and speak, and it'll be heard throughout the entire building. The next is going to be the L, which is lockdown. It's more than locking a door. You're going to use furniture in the room to barricade the entrance to the room and other materials such as a belt or electrical cord to wrap around the door knob or hinge. You're going to use our night lock system. Which is in every classroom. It takes seconds. You're going to practice with the students. Get out of sight. You're going to turn off the lights. You're going to close the blinds. You're going to place a tape line on the floor for an out of sight line. The next is I, inform. Throughout the event, someone who can continuously report real time information about the incident if possible, a play by play. To inform police of the whereabouts of the individual or individuals and possibly identi at their identity. You're going to inform students and teachers of the whereabouts so they can decide whether to barricade or flee. You're gonna distract the intruder. 
C stands for counter. As a last resort when a life is in danger, you're gonna use countering strategies to impact the intruder's effectiveness. Interrupt a skill set that's needed to shoot accurately. Accurately, it's called the OODA loop. Why were shooters so successful in Columbine? Sandy Hook at some classes at Virginia Tech. You're gonna throw objects at the intruder. You're gonna physically overwhelm the intruder. E is gonna be the evacuate. You're gonna get away from danger. You're gonna provide students with the ability and permission to evacuate. Traditional off-limit areas are accessible. You're gonna break windows to escape. If there's an escape path, an option is to evacuate. Then you're gonna have a rally point. Remove as many potential targets as possible. Evacuation is inevitable during a dangerous intruder event anyhow, and it matches a natural response to a dangerous intruder. <clears throat> the current lockdown procedure. Current responses to an armed intruder in the building is called a lockdown. The teachers will redirect any students they see in the hallway into their classrooms. They will shut and lock the door, use the night lock. They'll close the door and window curtains. They'll move students out of sight. They'll turn off the lights. Silence the cell phones or remain quiet. Do not shut off your cell phone. Just silence it. You need to be able to communicate. Wait for contact from school, administra school administration or law enforcement to give the all clear. <clears throat> Traditional lockdown assumptions. The police will respond quickly. The police will stop the active shooter intruder. The locks on the door will be sufficient. Staying silent and hidden is the safest approach. Why is preparation and proactive response necessary? 25 years of mass shooting events have yielded a national average for the response time of law enforcement to an active killer scene. How long is that average response time? It's five to six minutes. The police response, no matter how fast, never feels quick enough. Of the 160 active shooter events from the last 15 years, 60% of the events ended before law enforcement arrived. 40% of the shooters committed suicide. 27 of the events occurred in pre-K through 12th grade schools, 12 in higher education. 98% of active shooters events had one perpetrator. Columbine and Jonesboro had two perpetrators who never left each other's side. Trained police 80% of the time in a dynamic situation. There's a lot of factors that go into that. There are people that are moving, students in the way, have to be very careful. It's easier for an active shooter or somebody to hit a still target as it is to a dynamic target that's moving. 75% of gunshot wounds are survivable. In the Loveland High School and throughout all the other schools, we have done stop the bleed training with all the students and staff. We have stop the bleed kits throughout the schools as well. These are some of the numbers that we've seen throughout <clears throat> the response times and 14 years of strategies of how many were killed and how many were wounded throughout Columbine, Virginia Tech, and Sandy Hook. This is a diagram from the library at Columbine where 54 students stayed in there for five minutes or more. You'll see on this, this right here, you'll see the rooms that were not barricaded. It was easy for the killer to get in and cause mass damage. Those that were barricaded were survived a lot better. Okay, analysis tells us that active shooters arrive with the intention to kill. Active shooters have no intention of negotiating. Active shooters are seeking mass casualties. We must learn from these terrible events. Law enforcement authorizes and trains first responder officers to take action. True first responders are the people present at the event, the teachers, the students. So again, the ALICE provides an option-based plan of action, increasing the chance of survival and confidence. 
it's applicable with life skills for those who are trained, going out to the mall, to the movies, house of worship, sporting events. It diminishes the odds of perpetrator success due to simple options that Alice provides. If anybody has any further questions on Alice, please contact me. Thank you.